You're going to hear me talk about something else. Have either of you or any of you heard of uh, yeah. Kimono Michi? No. Two. No. no. Okay. So there was a Street oh, Fighter Five event, and every once in a while, something that happens that I, I can call fighting games as art. I, link, I think we both agreed that Clockwork versus Neo and Marvel Marvel 2 was a fucking incredible set. Yep. The best of all time Super for good. that game. Uh, Street Fighter V just had one of those moments with a Tokido versus Daigo first to 10 set. That was fucking great. And Did Gutex throw his stick? He did not. And the, it's not just on the level Why of like it's not just on the level of like the way they play, but it's also on the level Can you of ask like who bitch this is. The ba- <laughs> there was no who bitch this is, but uh, <laughs> the backstory for both players, yeah. the the front story for for both players. You can make a J drama based around like it Japanese is fighting incredible. Game was right? this like a money match or was, was so the under the the, the uh, I'll try to summarize it really quick. But the idea is that this. Daigo, despite not winning any majors of, of like, recent import, you know... Has, um, has remained a force in fighting games. M- m- remained more than a force. He's still considered the peak. And the reason why, especially, is because Daigo is Batman. Mm-hmm. Daigo, with time to plan, is, like, good fucking luck, mm-hmm. right? And the idea here being that Tokido, the guy who won Evo, mm-hmm. the guy who made second place at Capcom Cup, yep. the guy who can arguably be considered the best Street Fighter player in the world right now, mm-hmm. still feels inferior to Daigo and wants to know why. Okay. It's and, so and Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> and so Christ. he challenges him to a set in with which he's going to see if he can finally finally cleanse this shadow. Will Ippo finally beat Takamura? It's a thing that's been looming over him the whole time. Uh-huh. Okay, and, you're and, selling me a little bit on this. Right? And, he, and he, these are in his words as well, right? And so he eventually is tra- he trains himself to the Wait. point that he feels absolute... And- Have- have they ever had a match in a major when one knocked the other out? Yes! Tons of times. And, At and Evo! Who's won? Tokido! But the first to ten, the long set is yeah, yeah, yeah. different. Okay, okay. It's a different it's video game. It's an Iron game. Man match. What you come out with and start beasting on me with for the first three games... Won't work after a When while. I download that, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have nothing. Okay. You can't... Sh- I-, I thought maybe, like, they never actually met in a major. Not That's only have they met in a major... <laughs> they meet every major. I God, I hope I can fucking find it, but... Um, it's like, how many times has John Cena fought Randy Orton? Like, 28 times. <laughs> like, uh, these guys are fucking, like, the gods of the fighting game community. And what literally happened at EVO was in between... The, the set where they both fucking well, like had one game and then the other game, yeah. they closed their eyes and meditated for the same amount of time and then reopened their eyes and hit the replay button and went into the final set. It's okay. I'm fucking not, awesome. I'm not familiar with this, but how long is the... Uh, do they get like breaks in between these? No. Or is it there is long, absolutely long a break and no, it is wait, and there are rules about the break. Because, so first to if 10... If he gets a little bit of lab time or whatever in between. Okay, okay, no, no. Lab time. So there's... Uh, let me get to that because there's rules of like when the break happens. Which yeah. is, there's a mandatory break after 10 games. So you can't call it any point or whatever. There's a point where they're like, we'll take an intermission here. Because they were, they need to be playing at their peak, which means the chairs, the fucking monitors, up, the yeah. tape, everything was precise to their optimal, okay. optimal play. Because them going at it with each other is like a more than a like hundred percent. You're pushing it to your your limits to the max, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Daigo, like like Tokyo talks about like you know he yeah like doing you you've he's been doing nothing they've been doing nothing but preparing to fight each other for over a month now okay right Daigo especially to the point where like he knows like he knows characters the character that you're gonna fight more than you do is what he does and you can go back and um, there's a Twitter called High Fight where you can read like the um, the the translations of the interviews with Daigo afterwards about mm-hmm. like how the match went and with Tokido afterwards. And it's fucking awesome the levels that they went to to beat each other to fight and to play and like the match ends in tears physically like at one point where the person who loses is standing there and like holding it back and they can't because it gets that emotional. Um, 
there's things that happen in the set where like you don't see this in normal fighting games like Daigo starts doing a thing where literally he's standing still as he's playing because walking back puts you out of a range you want to be at mm -hmm. crouching widens your hitbox too much and any other thing you do puts too much of a risk as as to you getting hit by a certain button right. so he just literally like lets go of the stick at points and it's the optimal thing Every decision, every moment, everything that happens in this set is street, is fighting games at its peak, and I really can't recommend it enough if you have any interest in the set. It's okay, long. so what was the money on it? I have no idea. Oh. His soul? I don't know if there was. Your soul is mine. Then who cares? Yeah, okay. Uh, so it's a long-ass <laughs> set. It's about an hour and a half. What a dickwad thing to say. Oh, but, whatever. Uh, you naughty man. You gotta was, go broke. But uh, it was just some excellent fighting game. So that was game. the most Japanese thing ever, and what Pat said is the most American yeah. thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, like, is it like is it like an, a a bet match where like after the match, like if Daigo loses, he has to go like drown an old person at his work or the, something? The vid the pre match video literally the presents video this package. as the battle for the peak of the FGC. Yeah, so it's honor. It's all about honor. honor. And it's straight up like, Tokido, I have won everything, but I still can't beat that man. That, and, <laughs> you know, like I like, and that's, that's what it is. It's like, and, and like uh, the idea was basically here that like, uh, uh, um, Tokido winning means that the era has changed in a way. And, and okay, fine. Passing. I get it. Just, does he have the trophy? It's a good first to ten, Evo? and I just wanted to bring oh, it yeah, to I your bet attention. Oh yeah, I it is. I'm just like because it was really cool, and the story for in the backstory and the front story are all it's really like, awesome. It's like wrestling. Almost. I completely, I dude, you're completely right. But That's at all the same I got. Time like that, like I have to do it for my pride. Is a oh fuck off. You won. You won, Takedo. He unlocked a Monster Hunter costume look, at the end. Look at look That's at your, look at your trophy and caress it. But he never beat him in a. In a I mean, as end. someone that understands how and why Clockwork versus Neo was so good, sure, buddy. Like it was good because of the money. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my it was God. good because there was stupid money on it, and people yeah, were gonna go you, broke when they lost. You cannot understand this. You have no honor in your soul. <laughs> You're an honorless dog. If, oh, yeah, if it was like, oh, yeah, Neo and Clockwork are going to have a big set of long matches because they don't like each other. I forgot if some guy's about to, like, shoot a rocket at Pat's mom <laughs> or a pile of his money. Yeah. You say that like Viscant versus Low Tier God is not another Hallmark See that's excellent different. moment in history that had everything to do with pride. See, that's different. Hold your fucking tongue. See, Why? That's different. Hold your fucking See, tongue. No, here's the thing. That's different because that is <laughs> that is some fucking trash FGC crap that All right, back bathroom. Like okay, Wooly Walk it back. Daigo is let's assume Daigo won. I don't know who won this, right? Daigo's not gonna stand up. And fucking yell at low tier god that maybe he's gonna be uh, sorry yell at fucking Tokido maybe you'll wow. be able to wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. That's not gonna to happen. Match, There's not gonna be a fucking hip hop style pop off. It was the equivalent in emotional like 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 intensity in a Japanese way. Like Viscant, I'll say that like, much. There was a there was a worry if Valle wasn't there that like LTG might have like pulled a knife or sure. some shit. Sure. Like that's awesome. Where's the pop off there? The point Are you complaining that there's not enough First of all, in Japan? first of all, you don't know what that what the fight is or contains, but second, you just proved the point that without the money, it can still be an interesting sure, thing. Sure, but not between good people. There has to be a villain. <laughs> there needs to be thuggery in Japan. <sighs> How dare they have honor and soul? I think LTG versus this can't works because there's a villain in the most in the most American way possible. They're both villains, and I and I feel Chris, Chris G versus uh 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 fucking what's his name Sonic Fox works because there's a villain. Like it... who? Who's the villain there? 
Which one's the villain, Pat? You get to pick. Really. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What Pat, the fuck is that? You are the it's villain. Christine. <laughs> She's the villain. They're all villains. villains. What the fuck are you talking about? I'd rather see two villains fight because they hate each other than two heroes Sonic fight Sonic Fox for right now is literally being photoshopped and then re-rendered -re into pages of Dragon Ball as Frieza and then as uh, Abirus, the god that needs to be crushed, the evil villain. Like, what are you fucking... Like, no. Anyway. Anyway. Um... Happy, really nice, just comes good down people. To Western storytelling versus Eastern storytelling. Listen, Vegeta versus Goku to prove their strength, and it's like, oh, we're friends now. That's boring. One of them has to want to kill the other. The problem was in the middle of the first to ten when someone got on social media and tried to change the world. That's where the problem was. That arc was full of shit. You could see the blue aura spreading out from Tokyo.